first thing I'm gonna do is go over to course bot. Didn't their game originally have it? So like, it only gave you a few things at the start and you had to work with those and then you had to wait till the next day and then it gave you more like tools to work with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, the, the staggered release actually really uh, helps you learn yeah, to build I, I, things. Yeah, I figured. It, it just gives you the limited tool set, so you like you master those, and so when you get back on, you're ready for the next stuff. Yeah, and it's like that's so good, and welcome to Let's Play Baltimore, by the way. This is, this is the only show on the internet. It's literally the only show on the internet. The only one. And uh, it's, it's a great new concept called Online... It's actually called On Live. Uh, it's a subscription service where you can have games streamed right to your TV. Nobody's ever done it before. It's like a resurrection of the Phantom console. On Live. <laughs> Every, investors, get your pocketbooks ready. Uh, anyways, uh, right, I'm Alex. I'm still drinking that awful concoction of every kind of alcohol we had in the house. Vodka, moonshine, white rum. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, we got lemonade and uh, Mountain Dew in it. And this is Evan, and yeah, this this Frankenstein concoction. Yeah, is some good stuff. Highly recommended. Cheers. Mm. So, the first thing I want to point out here, actually, I kind of skipped the, uh, the the course manager here. It's called the course bot, and just listen listen to this sick beat. I'm gonna turn it up for a second. Just listen to this sick beat. I don't, I don't know why, but that's one of my favorite parts of the game. Boom, boom, boom. It's just so... Oh, it's nice. It's nifty. There's so many little nice touches to this game. Mm-hmm. So, when, when you first get the game, they only give you a limited a limited set of tools. And this is the first level I ever It's just coins designed. and coins and coins. Yep. I, I wanted to uh, push the game to the limit. And actually, there is a limited amount of, of things of that you objects. can put in any given level. Uh, enemies are one category. There's a limited amount of enemies, and each one takes up a different amount of memory. And there's a limited number of coins. But this is what I came up with. And actually, uh, the idea I had for the level wasn't unlocked yet. I wanted you to go into this pipe, do some stuff, uh, do some stuff in here and then come out the other pipe. And uh, that was like uh, impossible. You had to wait until you unlocked everything else. So I actually hmm. couldn't finish this level until everything was unlocked in the game. But um, g uh, go ahead and uh, get this. Uh... All right, I'll give it a try. What, what is that turtle and the dog? What is that exactly? Oh, right. Those? Uh, the dog is the undo button, okay. so if you do a bunch of stuff like this, the dog just undoes it. And, uh, where did the turtle show up? The turtle's over there on the far, uh, or is that a frog? Whatever that thing is on the far left. That thing? Uh, on the, the left. Oh, the there. frog! Uh, yeah, those frog? are sound effects. Oh. I have not even played around with these. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a bunch of them. Oh man, this is gonna see what happens. silly. What, what is this? What is this fat guy right here? Alright. Alright. So, and then you hit select and you play the level. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so, yeah, and then... And then there's that. And that's the way it works, and everybody... Everybody has a happy, fun time. Oh, yeah, you, Holy you can record shit! your voice. Yeah, you can, um... I think it only works, like, uh, if you play the game locally, though, so you can't put yeah. profanities online. Yeah, unfortunately, nobody's ever gonna put my homegrown homegrown profanity on the internet, but if we do this right here... So, how does, the, how does Nintendo stop people from making penis levels? Is there, like, a whole, like, algorithm that detects that stuff? <laughs> An algorithm for detecting penis levels? They do it for like um uh, what's it called uh Smash Brothers where they had that me level. Really? I mean they... uh, not me but uh Picto Chat or whatever the uh, Nintendo World that's what it is. 
and, 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 you, can, and uh, like, you can put posts on there and they show up for other people when they play that online oh that's cool and is it just full of cocks I think they have some way of detecting the cocks so they, they have a cock show. detector oh my goodness uh, yeah, so um, yeah, go ahead and hit select and just play around. And there you go. Now you're playing the game. Cat paws. All of the sound effects have accompanying visuals, and I never really played around with them because they don't really add anything to the gameplay experience, but yeah, it's a nice little thing. And I um, like things. I had to use the stylus here. Yeah. All right. So those are those are sound effects, and hit the frog if you want to get out of sound effects mode. But if you want to start it all the way over on a level, then um, uh, hold down the rocket ship in the corner there. That just clears everything. Yep. So now you've got a clean slate. All right. I have no idea where to start, so let's just uh, just make some some random stuff here. There you go. And uh, another really useful thing is if you make a bunch of random stuff and then play the level for a little bit, like do that right now. Just just um, play it and do it either until you die or you want to hit uh, minus again and just see what happens. Oh. All right, so now you've got a motion trail of of uh, Mario's. where you went. I, I see. You. Yeah, and you can use those to turn to do determine strategic spots to place coins or question blocks or mm -hmm. well, whatever. Helpful. And there is this. the ground. So that that, that so determines that the length of the course. Mm -hmm. And you can actually just like make it impossible for Mario to enter the little castle. So you can trap Mario behind <laughs> you, the flagpole. But then you can't actually put these levels online if you do that because. Can't you no, just... as long as you reach the flag, you can put the level online. Oh. The flag is the only criteria. The flag is the only thing that matters. So. Yep. So a lot of people like to put little springs right in front of the castle door so they keep bouncing Mario back. And if you <laughs> can't get it, if you can't get off of the screen, he'll eventually just turn around and crouch in the fetal position. Wow. Oh, different yep. tile sets. Yeah. And this one, the airship is probably my favorite because like go back to if you go back to uh, airship then and play, try playing with try playing with the ground what do you mean playing with the ground you mean like uh, like not not that but like the fourth tile the fourth uh, tool this one yeah that would normally be like the stone tiles you see in the ground in the beginning but if you just draw on some empty sky with that now it's ship Ooh. There wasn't ship in the original Mario Brothers, right? Right. So, yeah, that was only like Super Nintendo. Yep. So now you've got. And there's also a specific, like, uh, music for each of these uh, tile sets, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like super amazing. That is cool. I think my favorite though is always Super Mario World. I agree. I okay. don't know what it is about it, but I guess the, the color palette and everything, it just appeals to me somehow. <laughs> it's got to be the nicest of all the games. I think because it had the most levels of any Mario game, it gave you the most, the most, the most experience. And also it had, like, the most, the, the best moveset of any Mario game. You could fly, you could yeah, throw I, shells I, in any direction. I love just flying around in the sky with the, uh, the, the cape. Mm -hmm. I remember there was one level that was just like a huge amount of sky with just coins and you just go up and down and get them all. You could make that. You could make that right now. I could. There is nothing stopping you. In the world. You gotta the take world life. Of Mario. Grab it by the balls. Ah, that's how I access all this stuff. Yep. It's a little overwhelming, though, because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, uh, well, is there any, like, kind of Mario level you like? Uh, not that I can think of. Let's, let's, uh, try something, try something with, like, the sky, where you just have to fly around. Alright, let's see, where do I find all the power-ups? Is that under... I, I have a, I have a recommendation here. I recommend right. that you start the level over. Just rock it Yeah, blast yeah, it. I really need to do that. And now, grab the grab the ground. No. no. This thing. Yeah, there you go. And just like hold hold uh, right on the D pad. 
like grab, like hold, touch the, touch the, 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 there you go. Like that. And now you've got like a shit ton of ground. Let's make it smaller. There you go. Alright, now put a question block in the beginning. You can slide the slider on the bottom of the screen to, uh, there you go. There we go. So put a question block in the beginning. Yeah, that'll work. And, uh, if, if you drag it, yeah, if you drag it to, like, off the screen, then we'll do that. And if you go up to the list of tools at the top, then you can get the cape feather. Where's tools? What is that under? No, it's, that's, um, right... Right there. Ah, uh, and then there's and, the feather. Yep, and drag that into the question block. Oh, there we go. There you go. Alright, and now just start flying. That is what I would recommend. Alright, let's, let's... Build, build the level around your preferred play pattern, as it were. And then just fly free. There we go. Yep. Just like I remember. Except that. <laughs> <laughs> but now you've got your motion trail, so mm -hmm. like you can build the game for your preferred uh, skill level or whatever. And uh, if you uh, design the rest of the level based on that motion trail, then you can like make it exactly as easy or hard as it needs to be. Okay. Also. It'll, it'll stop doing that annoying thing where everything floats if you take it off of airship mode. I know I was like, put it on airship mode, put it on airship mode, airship is so cool, but like, it's, uh, I guess it's not that important when you're making this kind of flying level. I just can't remember the controls 100%. Yeah, it's like a surprisingly complex control thing for a Mario game. It's like Street Fighter level stuff. <laughs> It's been yeah. years since I played Super Mario. I'm not even sure how you do it. Let's see. Okay, that was the, the uh, spin. I think you uh, hold down Y, and then you hold down A to oh, fly. I gotta, I gotta get that. And then when you start first. dropping, you tilt your thumb over to the opposite side of the D-pad while hitting A again. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's a really hard thing to like get done. I used to be so good at it, too. Did you have it on Game Boy Advance? Yeah, I had the Game Boy Advance Super Mario Brothers. Uh, Super Mario World, I mean. Yeah. That was that was an awesome experience. Yeah. So many car rides. <laughs> I know. I'd play that all the time on car trips. Mm -hmm. Did you have the uh, Game Boy Advance SP or the original one? I had the original so you had to like wait for wait to pass street lamps oh, to play. It was awful. <laughs> Could not play that in the dark, and if you did, it was just. Mm -hmm. I had to wait every time. Yeah. Was this thing. That is a bridge. There we are. Good old ground. So yeah, I really want them to like add uh, extra like DLC stuff because like I, I want the uh, jungle themed world and I want the ice levels and stuff. Is there a cave one? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here it is, right here. Okay. I love this, because the game plays exactly the same way, but it feels different. It just feels nice. I don't know. There's just something... Something magical here. Something sure. Maybe we've just been programmed to like it from playing <laughs> the game as children. And it's like, it's in our code. It's in our, it's in our very... Yeah! That's what's up. Alright, coins in the sky. I also love how it like sings the item names and stuff. It does? Ah, it <laughs> does. That is a nice touch. Mm -hmm. uh, there are so many cool things about this game. Yeah, what, what else What else is cool about this game? I don't know, I haven't had much uh, time to play with it. Are you talking about Mario Maker or Mario World? Oh, uh, Mario Maker. Yeah, alright, let's give this... Let's get this done. 
Yeah. Oh, you got it. For the most part. I think there's a way to get back up, like, higher. Yep. Yeah, it's just, like, really precise. Um, so if you, uh, if you stop the level now, if you, like, hit minus, then... Let's see, go up. Let's see if, how far your motion trail goes. Oh man, that's not like very far only, at all. Only to here, yeah. So yeah, sadly the motion trail is limited. But uh, if you like do that again, just just do it again. Just start flying around. And um, yeah, so. No. Oh. oh shit! Messed it up there. I'm still like biting my lip, just like in anticipation. All right, there we are. Oh shit! You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Uh, you're a pretty good flyer there. All right, so now hit minus, and uh, just put coins wherever you were. That's like, uh, in my experience, that's been like a good way to to go. Well, pretty much there's coins everywhere right now. There's nothing wrong with having coins be everywhere. It is a Mario game after all, and that is what Mario games are for. What does he do with all these coins? What does Mario actually do with these coins? That's a good question. Like, I know Wario just hoards them in like a giant stash, but what does Mario do with them? Why does Mario collect so many coins? Like, is, did they ever give a story reason for that? Or why there are so many so. coins all around? Like, is he trying to rebuild the Mushroom Kingdom with his coins? Maybe he's trying to finance construction projects. <laughs> he's trying to build his plumber's business. <laughs> Maybe Mar this is all about Mario being a plumber and he's just getting paid. <laughs> That's how he gets paid, Just mm -hmm. he just collects his coins. Maybe he spends all the money he makes as a plumber on drugs and this, the, whole, the games are just like his hallucinations or a fever. <laughs> Alright, I think I kind of got a hang of this. All right. Well, uh, in the next episode of the show, we will show you a level that we have that we have built all by ourselves. Until next time. Peace. Later.